All right, so I am going to do a, a little how-to on, this is from the chapter one test. All right, so the chapter one CC2 test, okay, version one. And number two, specifically, I got asked to, to do. So number two, we have a situation where we're given a, uh, um, the fact that Alex can decorate four cupcakes in 15 minutes. So I know I can set up a ratio. I could set up a ratio for this problem. We know he can do four cupcakes in 15 minutes, right? And it then asks me, I want how many cupcakes can he decorate in one hour? Well, so I want to compare it to another ratio that they want me to figure out how many cupcakes in one hour well i could write one hour here i could put one hour but the issue is is now i don't have the same units i have to have the same units for me to do this correctly to be able to use a giant one or a way to kind of solve this so instead of one hour i'm going to write it as 60 minutes right because it is already in minutes so I want to have minutes in my ratio over here. So now I have a situation where I, I can rewrite this with just the numbers as fractions and ratios act like fractions. They are fractions. So I want to find out if four is four fifteenths, how can I convert four fifteenths to be something over 60? That's what I'm finding out. So what would I need to do? Well, there's a nice giant one. If we notice, we can multiply. 15 times 4 to get 60. So my giant 1 in this case would be 4 over 4. So I'm multiplying 15, 4 15 times 4 over 4, because 15 times 4 is 60. And then, so therefore, 4 times 4 is 16. So we notice at that point that the answer would be uh, Alex can... decorate 16 cupcakes in one hour Oop, one hour there we have it alex can decorate 16 cupcakes in one hour and the math is shown by setting up a ratio equal to another ratio with the right measures with the right units and the cupcakes on top, minutes on the bottom, setting up now a proportion to solve for the missing piece. Using the giant one, because 15 times four is 60, therefore I can multiply by four over four to figure out what the numerator is. Okay, there you go.